welcome to this video from in 28 minutes thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms udemy safari and pact let's welcome our lead instructor ranga rao karanam welcome back in this video we will be talking about code smells what are code smells and what should you do about them what is a code smell code smell is all about specific patterns in code which signal that there is a specific defect that might be possible code smell is nothing but a bad pattern a pattern which when i see i recognize that there might be a possible defect in there static analysis tools are really good at looking at code smells they try and analyze the patterns and see if this specific thing can be a problem. For example, if I'm assigning a variable to null and immediately calling a method on it, what would happen? A null pointer exception. That's a code smell because you know when you do the static analysis of that piece of code that there is high chance that there is a big defect underneath that piece of code. Choosing static analysis of your project is the best way to find code smells. The other option is to use manual code reviews to find code smells as well. Sona Cube has a great set of code smell rules. So what we are looking at are the rules for Java. So we are talking about a profile where there are 194 code smells which are present in here. So what is typical code smell? At deprecated. So you are using code which is deprecated. You are using a method which is deprecated. That's a code smell. You are using a for loop but you are not increase, increasing the loop counter. That's a code smell. You are accessing a static member using an instance variable. That's a code smell. You are using a switch statement, but you don't have a default clause. You have a switch statement with just two case clauses. It can better be implemented with a if. You are calling a two string on a string, which you never need to do. Or in a situation where you have to use a while loop, you are using a for loop. You are naming a class as exception, but you are not extending an exception or a subclass of exception. All these are smells, right? So when you see this, then you would be very clear that the developer did not understand what he is trying to do. And that's a smell that there might be something bad going on in code. It might be a smell that there might be a bug hidden in the code. There are a wide list of things that could be smells, throwing exceptions in finally, having empty statements, throwing very generic exceptions and things like that. The other kinds of smells would also be present inside your J unit, inside your unit tests. Ignored unit tests might be a smell. An empty test case might be a smell. Having to do's, fix me tags are also code smells. Using Try catch block, the usual one where try with resources might be a better option, would be a code smell as well. Having unused private methods is a code smell. What we have done until now is we looked at variety of code smells. We said code smells are patterns in code that are bad coding practices. These signal that there is a bug hidden in code or that the code is not really well written. It means that you need to take a deeper look into that piece of code. The best way to identify code smells is to have great code reviews and having static analysis running continuously in continuous integration. Make sure that you are using a static analysis tool like, like Sona Cube to find out different patterns, different smells that you are looking for. Make sure that Having zero code smells is one of the important parts of your definition of done. So for every user story, you need to make sure that the resultant code, whatever code you wrote for that specific user story does not have any code smells. In 28 minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like Udemy, Safari Online and Pact. We have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months. The question is, what do you want to learn next? We are building solutions to help programmers at all levels. You can learn programming with our awesome courses on Java, Python and JavaScript. You can learn full stack development with REST APIs and microservices 
with a wide range of frameworks like Spring Boot, Node.js, React, Angular, and Spring Cloud. We have 200 plus videos to help you start your journey from a programmer to a software architect. We have videos to help you learn frameworks, industry trends, including things like microservices, learn the best practices in architecture, design, and code quality. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.